David, thank you. One week from tonight, we'll have some final results from the midterm elections. Walker County voters will make an important decision about their leadership. And James Torres is live in Walker County tonight. James, what makes this county so unique in the United States? Well, Josh and Kim, in Georgia, it's the only state right now that allows its counties to have a sole commissioner. That means one person makes up the entire county commission. That's the case here in Walker County. It's actually one of nine in the state of Georgia. Now, uh, this could change after a vote next week. With elections only a week away. People talk about it each and every day, actually. There's one local topic people around here are talking about. There should not be one person should not have all control and power over one county. Walker County's sole commissioner is Shannon Whitfield. He stepped into office after defeating 16-year incumbent BB High School last election cycle. Whitfield said he would be the last sole commissioner in Walker County. We want to change that mentality of county government where the citizens are treated like preferred customers. Voters now have the option to make a board of commissioners a reality. Some we spoke to tonight say it's about time. There needs to be more than one person. They should be that board. To so maybe if there's five members, then there's five different ideas that could come into the county. If you have more than one person, you can kind of bounce ideas around other people and it'll work out better. So what would that look like if voters opted to change their government? A county spokesperson says the county would be split into four districts plus one chairperson, a total of five representatives. Voters would elect someone for each seat in 2020, meaning Whitfield would finish his term as the sole commissioner. Some voters say they're ready to go to the polls. And I know some people that haven't voted, they're actually gonna go out and vote this time just for the board of commissioners. And according to a county spokesperson, Shannon Whitfield does not want to make a comment right now on this matter. He wants to leave that vote entirely to the public. Now, if the county does decide to go on with the Board of Commissioners, then Whitfield would have to run for one of those district seats. He would not be given any sort of automatic place uh, here in county government. Right now, we're live in Walker County. I'm James Torres, News Channel 9. James, thank you very much for that report.